to Andy and Dave Daily right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. It was um, it was a Thursday evening in the uh, household of Andy, and mm-hmm. I was um, getting out of the shower, and the kitchen was dimly lit, and I round the corner. I standing there, and there's Mrs. O, and she's got a box of Nutty Bars. And I said, why? Where have these come from? Because I'm pretty good at finding things in the kitchen, Mm -hmm. um, especially things that should be hidden and kept away from, say, people like me. Um, Mm -hmm. Because, you know, sometimes grandkids come over and there's nice to to have things left over if I didn't eat them. Um, But she's standing there with this box of Nutty Bars, and she says, here. She hands me the box, and she goes, these are kind of old. See if they're outdated. So I'm, I'm like, uh, yeah, two weeks. They're still good for two weeks. And I hand oh, it back to her. God. She's like, oh, okay. And oh wait, she wanted you to look at. I thought she wanted you to taste one to no, see she if it was outdated. No, she's going to look for a date in the box. Oh, okay. I thought I thought she was using you as like a human guinea pig to see if. Uh, well, yeah, you a, had a bad reaction to like I give a shit what the date bars. on the box is, and B like I can read it in a dimly lit kitchen with all those tiny words on a box. Mm-hmm. Seriously, you didn't have your old man glasses handy. <laughs> I said they're nutty bars. Who cares? They could be two thousand years old. We're still gonna eat them. Nah. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I'm weird that way though. Like I am like I'm like Cindy. I I, I don't like things past an expiration date it's not like it's I mayonnaise feel, it feels uneasy it dude i mean it's not like it's spoiled right yeah it's I, peanut I agree. butter I, and, and yes and friggin' cookies it's not know? dairy 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 that's a that's a that's a hard that's a hard it's not like it's meat it's, yeah you know it's not like it's smelly yeah, exactly. meat yeah. you know right oh i think this pork's rotten here try it mm-hmm. no no yeah. no Here's a box of nutty bars. If they're, if they're dust, I'm gonna lick them out of their pack. Uh huh. Of course. <laughs> Can you see if they're outdated? Yeah, uh, no, they're fine. Yeah, just give me a fistful of those. Let me see. Although I will give her big points on um, mm. her uh, magic cookie bars with the the graham cracker crust, the co- uh, the chocolate chips, the coconut, and all that up through it. They came out good. And I had I had to confess that they were cuttable this time, and I lost half a pan. <laughs> My mom made some homemade chocolate chip cookies uh, the oh, other yeah. night that I was able to. Uh, I said, "Yeah, try a couple," and it was really good because they weren't they weren't too sweet. Sometimes you go a little overboard on the sugar, and it makes you like a little whoa. Where it's my dad and my dad is like my dad was like nothing can be too sweet nothing i like too sweet. i like it to have just enough sugar but i like the chocolate to kind of overwhelm the sweetness yeah if that makes any sense i yeah. like because i don't like things i can't handle too much sugar it's not it's not just the reaction my taste buds don't like things too sweet there's like a happy medium there yeah and uh she hit it like perfectly well that's really good kudos to your mom 87 you're 87 years old you've been baking for close to eight decades yep uh you you, you tend to to do some things right they do it in right that, uh, area and in, in our case the uh the success of hiding little debbie snacks continues i don't know how she does it oh uh, well dude well she not first and, and again oh i will succumb is as much willpower as i have as disciplined as i've become over these last five or so decades Little Debbies are yeah, really hard to yeah. to stay away from. If they're there, I'm eating them. I get it. Like I'm at a gas station, I have to zoom past the little Debbies because I don't know how. Like you, the and you, it feels like if you just did, like if you get a package of two of them, you want for like you need. It's like wait, this is not enough. No, it's I not. I need to have no. another. So yeah, I have to. I stay away from little Debbie's, or okay. I would have diabetes in an hour. Oh, you would not. Come on. Oh, dude, Look I would me. go nuts. Look at me. I, all these years, no diabetes. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Well, with that, we yeah, we know of. Right. It's a miracle. Uh huh. It's a miracle. You're, 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 you know what we call you, Andy? You're you're what you're what's known in the medical community as an outlier. Wow. 
you're an outlier. It's like, Ooh. this is how you, you would think, oh, dude, that, that dude, that guy is, that guy has to give him shots like every three hours right. for his diabetes. Nope. You know, that's, that's Wilford Brimley's grandson. He's, right. You know, you know, he, he needs to eat like nine bowls of oatmeal to offset the diabetes. But uh, no, look at you. Nope. You in just, fact, you just, I was almost, I was almost cast, the medical establishment. I was almost cast in the Jardians commercial, but I didn't fit in the dress at the, at the end. <laughs> oh my God. That is, I don't know if that's one of the best or one of the worst commercials of all time. It was like, she's very, very happy though. She's very happy. She's very happy. And she goes home and sobs. Jardians is the big story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm down, man. I rock out with that oh one. Oh my god, huh? looks good. Yeah, you know, you know, I gotta give it to her. You know, really looks uh, quite fetching and yellow. Yes. <laughs> you gonna lay some news uh, on I'd us love here? To see, I would. You know, I would love. I'd love to the the real story. Her like like the behind the scenes, like what she's really like, because you know she's not that. Well, she might be. You know, she is angry and bitter. No, you can, it's like it's like an Ellen thing. I guarantee you, it's like yeah, yeah, I'm getting. I I can spot I can spot the Ellen DeGeneres in in any supposedly uh, overly uh, cheerful person, and I'm pro cheerful. It's just sometimes you're laying out on a little thick, and there's some demons there. You think so? Okay, well I'm gonna sniff I'm this. I'm just saying. Okay, you sniff that. I'll get into the news. Mm. A rocket attack has hit the U.S. embassy in Baghdad, according oh to U.S. and Iraqi officials. There were was only minor damage, no reported casualties. It's the first strike on the embassy since the beginning of the Israeli Hamas conflict. Of course, uh, there's every there. The, some people are up in arms about us, you know, not funding whether it's Israel or. Right. Um, you know, Ukraine, like we were evidently some, some threats being put out there by, uh, some of the people, uh, in power, like you better fund this or we're going to be sending your right. kids or your uncles and all that. It's just like, here, here's the thing. It's like, we have funded you. We've given billions to Ukraine already. Yep. Uh, we continue to fund Israel as we should, as our, you know. We give them three billion dollars here, but what more do you want us to do? And 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 it's the same old thing. And we get in, and you understand this. It, you start to hear the same things we used to hear years ago. We got to fight them here, or we'll fight them on our own shores. Of course, you know that's, but because that's how you keep that machine running. And again, I'm for you know you can make a moral argument for for continuing to fund both of those to a higher degree right you can you can make a moral argument for it but but don't 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 go with the with those scare tactics it, it's it ridiculous and they don't fly but anyway what else is going on oh scare hey, tactics leaning... fly oh well, yes they do right. absolutely well fair point the leaning tower in italy is apparently in danger of collapse oh no the structure has dominated the bologna skyline for nearly a thousand years the gradual disintegration of the stone and uh, expanding cracks in the base have officials on alert however experts say a collapse isn't imminent you know a thousand years that's a pretty solid run i'll take it you know you know um i i and it hasn't fallen i mean it, it it's it's been about to fall over pretty much since it was built. Right. That's just poor architecture. That's that, just whack. Got to be the worst architecture. You know what that is? That's time. whack. That's whack. That's our. We're gonna use our street terms today. That's whack. Okay. Well, that's weedy whack. See, when I can't, I can't, I can't use street terms because it it makes me sound even more Caucasian, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. I don't. You know, I embrace but, my but whiteness. Let's just rewind but, there for a second. It's Bologna. Not Bologna. Is it Bologna? Bologna. Is it Bologna? Bologna. Okay. Bologna. Okay. See, I went to school okay. with Italian nuns. I know all this stuff. Okay. So be a so little you know more flamboyant oh, yeah. with your language. Now, is it is it Italian or Italian? It's, it's I Italian. I like to say Italian. No, I like yeah, to say Italian. Italian. Bologna. Say that Bologna. With me. Say that okay. with me. Bologna. And then, you know, that actually sounds better. So, do it with me. Say it with your hands. Bologna. I'm, I'm you, fine with Bologna. Bologna. That's fine. You can do it with your hands. Do it with your hands. I'm Bologna. Not, I'm not big. I don't like. I don't like to well, make. Do, too, I make too many. You know what? I don't ma play yeah. along. I don't like playing along. Just no. Dip I, yourself I in a little it. culture. 
Bologna. No, that's not that's not nice. Hey, don't Come on. I'm of the when two in of Italy us, do as the Italians of do. the two of us. When in Bologna, all, never Italy. No. Bologna, say it. No, no, I, I said oh. Bologna enough. We're, we're beating that. We're, we're beating this. We're beating this. I, get, I give you much. a chance to get a little cultured. What do you do? Oh, you give thumb, me a break! You know, I'm, I'm the most cultured man you know. You, I am the most cultured. Your idea man of you culture know. is putting ketchup on a hamburger. Uh, Ketchup and mustard, oh and you can throw in God. some onions unless unless you got a date that night. You can throw in some onions. Otherwise, it's pickles. Okay. Because you know, yeah. Or if you are still gonna You're throw in the, the the onions, you gotta have oh you know, a fistful of elements on hand. You just called yourself cultured. That hurt. I am cultured. <laughs> I've seen. Yeah, you know, I, I like to go watch plays occasionally. You know? I've been to rags to riches. I'm I've been cultured. To rags to riches. <laughs> I've had that giant blue drink in the oversized <laughs> glass with eight eight straws for the ladies. No, Good one more God, try. God, how did nobody? I, I I am shocked. More people weren't just passed out at the bars there. One more try. It was one more what? try. Bologna. Bel- no. Okay. All right. Next story. Finally. The Detroit Lions inching closer to their first division championship in three decades. Detroit currently leads the NFC North at nine and three by three full games with just five left in the regular season. Lions three point favorite on the road in Chicago on Sunday. Kickoff one o'clock. Game's oh, that's that, it's done. Count it. I got I got some nervous Lion fans around here. I've been trying to just like, dude, you're fine. Three game lead, five games left. It's over. Uh, San Jose beats the Red Wings 6-5. to five. Thursday night football is New England upsetting Pittsburgh 21-18 at sports. Here comes Jeopardy. Get ready there. Uh, what am I going to call you, Chipper? Okay, uh, I'm going to have to. Hang on, I got I to gotta oh. get a little more watered-down energy. All right. Now we're good. Now you're good. Wow. Twelve hundred today. Mm-hmm. International business. International business. That's right. I am neither business minded nor uh, international. In nineteen hundred, this Japanese 19, company. Wait, wait. Nineteen hundred or eighteen hundred? Oh, it's not my fault you didn't listen. I couldn't hear. Bologna, Bologna. <laughs> Say it with me. No. Right. All right. In nineteen hundred, this Japanese company began producing upright pianos. Motorcycles came along more than a half a century later. I think I got this one. I think when you threw out motorcycles, I was a little confused. That's the gimme. You, you started with pianos. That's you throw the out gimme. How much is this worth? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. What are 1, we at right now? No pressure. What are we at? What are we at, You're at right 43, now? Forty-three, six hundred in the hole. Oh, it's coming down. Oh yeah. Yamaha. Look at that. Walk off into the weekend, into the sunset, feeling like a champion. Uh, everything about you is amazing. Everything about you is astounding. Give us a little shimmy and shake. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's right. You got that. It's Friday. Wow. Victory All is right. mine. Off to a weekend of filth and debauchery for you. And uh, try and get yourself out of that um, gutter by Monday, will you? Will do. All right. See ya. Welcome back, Muskegon. Warm and breezy conditions will last into your Friday before a cold front moves in on Saturday. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trendy Health. So like I said, we will have warm and breezy conditions today. Highs will get into the 50s, which is very warm for this time of year. And breezy conditions will last into Saturday morning until a cold front moves through, which will bring cooler and more seasonable temperatures by Sunday with highs back in the 30s. But in the meantime, we'll have to deal with some rain showers with that cold front. But the cold front really won't bring a whole lot of rain. We're expecting less than a quarter of an inch of rain with this. And it will be raining basically from 6 a.m. Saturday to noon on Saturday. So not a whole lot of rain and it will only be a little bit of time where it will be raining. And then dry weather will return later Saturday afternoon, lasting through Sunday as well. And it will also be dry during the daytime hours for Friday. You can see we'll have a high of 51 with breezy conditions though, with mostly cloudy skies as that storm system approaches us. 
and then rain showers will be likely late Friday night going into Saturday morning with a pretty warm low for this time of year at 45. And then Saturday, we are expecting the rain showers to move in during the morning hours. They'll probably wrap up around noon or so, and then temperatures will fall throughout the day thanks to that cold front. So our warmest temperatures on Saturday will be in the morning hours, and then we'll drop into the 30s and stay basically in the 30s for several days after the cold front moves through until maybe the lower 40s return by the middle of December. And that's your Friday and weekend forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon channel. And I'm Cold Woods Weather, and enjoy your weekend.